Hello everyone! Usually the project preview window is quite sufficient for previewing the footage. If I select the footage from the library I can preview that, but if I click on the timeline I can preview my video editing project as I edit it in the timeline. To enable the library preview window right click on a media file in the media library and then select show in library preview window. The second way is to open this window Select the Show Library Preview window option from the View men menu. In this way a second window will appear beside the Project Preview window, where you can view the footage selected in the library without moving the playhead position of the edited video. Use the slider to preview the footage. Click on the Undock the Preview window icon on the bottom right corner of the window. The window then becomes floating and can be placed anywhere. You can even place it on second monitor, giving you more room to edit. This can be done with the project preview window also. Click the dock, the preview window again to redock the window. You can add clip markers to a selected footage, use the player controls to find the moment position in the clip where you want to add the marker, click the icon to add the clip marker input a note for the mark and hit OK. This will be our mark in position. Drag the mark out position slider to the end position. Select the exact time position on the timeline where you want to insert the trimmed clip. Then click on the insert on the selected track icon to insert our clip from the preview window. I can then find the next section I want to use, for example when the surfer just falls. By setting the frame by frame scrolling I can get to the right frame. I going to add another marker to mark my action in the footage, set the mark in here and find the end of the desired cut. You could see that dragging the markers was a bit cumbersome. This can be easily avoided by setting the playhead on the required position and then click on the mark in icon to mark the start of the trim. You can then drag the mark out to set the end more easily. Alternatively, you can set the playhead to the end position and then click the mark out icon to finish the selection. Change the playhead position on the timeline. Now, instead of insert, we can use the overwrite on selected track option. This will overwrite the clip on the selected track. Let's play it back. If we need a snapshot from the footage, click on the camera icon here and save the image. We can set the footage volume also or we can mute it, but this doesn't affect the volume of the zone on the timeline. This was briefly the library preview window. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more and see you in the next video. Bye.